Um, I wanted to just share with my colleagues a little bit about the Fair Housing Conference yesterday. It was really, really powerful, and it looked like it was it was gauged just to talk to Marin County, which made it even even more um, enticing. The the keynote speak, speaker was Richard Rothstein, who is the Research Associate of the Economic Policy Institute. He talked about how the federal government in the late 30s instituted a series of racially explicit policies throughout the 20th century that were designed to segregate communities like the Bay Area and other metropolitan areas by race, specifically African Americans and whites. These policies, including those of the Federal Housing Administration, local authorities, and local zoning agencies were so powerful, he says, that they will require equally powerful and international policies, intentional policies, to undo their efforts. They still exist today. Next, we had a panel discussion and a, a representative from the Housing Policy and Special Projects National Fair Housing Alliance discuss the impacts of segregation on individuals and communities. Sarah Pratt, who was really the one that looked like she was talking to, to our county, uh, used to work at HUD, is now a special counsel. And she announced that HUD, just yesterday morning, announced that they are changing the policy of excluding individuals from public or Section 8 housing or affordable housing if they have any criminal record, no matter how old or high, how minor. So HUD is going to be looking at if you received a ticket or you were arrested when you were 18, they're going to take that into account when you go to apply for affordable housing, which right now they have to be automatically excluded. Mrs. Pratt then said, oblig uh, said that obligation was the in replacement to the, oh, the replacement to the analysis of, of the analysis that we have been doing to fair housing, promoting fair housing, has now been replaced by the affirmatively furthering fair housing. And she knows about our analysis of impediments and our implementation plan. And she has also worked with New Orleans, Baltimore, Yonkers, and Westchester who have been cited by HUD and fined millions of dollars for not answering affirmatively furthering fair housing in the depth and the way that they want us to do. And she said that <coughs> it's Marin, including its cities, has to provide data on areas of minority concentration and a plan to cite affordable housing outside of these areas for individuals, and our data needs to show who needs this housing the most, Fa families, seniors, dis dis disabled communities. If we don't, she warned, we will suffer the same consequences that New Orleans, Baltimore, Yonkers, and Westchester did. So the takeaway from this conference is all of us in this county need to have a plan that's backed up by data by 2018. And the good thing is there are members of the community who stand ready to help us as well as fair housing at Marin.